and you've got to study and think about this money stuff through the lens of behavior modification. It's not a math problem. Do you crave financial freedom but are stuck with a modest income? Dave Ramsey believes that you can grow rich without a six-figure salary. Growing rich actually doesn't require money. It requires mindset, planning, and strategy. So how can one get rich with a low salary? Dave Ramsey has a plan for you. A written plan. You have to do a budget on paper, on purpose, before the month begins, every month. It Join us as we uncover Dave Ramsey's guide to transforming a low income into a substantial wealth. It's not just about the numbers on your paycheck. It's about a strategic financial plan that can elevate your financial status. Stay tuned until the end as we delve into the behavioral side of wealth building and break down how it's not a math problem, but a matter of smart money management. You must create a deliberate budget on paper before the month kicks off. If you imagine yourself as the captain of a ship navigating the vast ocean of your financial future, your salary serves as the wind in your sails. Even if you don't have the robust wind of high earners, a gentle breeze can lead you to exotic financial destinations with adept navigation. This is where your budget plays a crucial role. It's your compass, map, and GPS. Let's face the reality. A staggering 78% of American workers live paycheck to paycheck. This isn't just a statistic. These are individuals grappling to make ends meet, let alone save for the future. However, there's an alternative, the zero-based budget, a concept advocated by none other than Dave Ramsey. So what is a zero-based budget? Picture each dollar as an employee. As the CEO of your financial ship, a zero-based budget requires assigning every dollar to a specific job. No freeloaders are permitted. Every month, income minus outgo equals zero. Not zero in your bank account, but zero unassigned dollars. You might say, I'm not good with numbers. The truth is, budgeting isn't calculus, it's basic arithmetic. It's about being intentional. If you plan to save $100 this month, that means allocating $100 less to dining out. It's a straightforward cause and effect relationship. Consider the power of budgeting over time. Saving $100 in a month amounts to $1,200 a year. Over five years without accounting for interest or investments, that's a $6,000 safety net you've woven thread by thread. But it's not just about saving. It's also about spending wisely. Did you know the average American spends $3 a day on coffee? That's almost $1,100 a year on morning coffee alone. Swap that for home-brewed and you've found your $100 a month to save. It's not about squeezing pennies until they scream. It's about making your money declare your success proudly. It's about control. With a zero-based budget, you're not merely hoping to reach financial goals. You're steering directly toward them. So take hold of that wheel, chart your course, and transform that gentle salary breeze into a journey laden with treasures. It all starts with a budget. The middle class often finds itself perpetually stuck by being indebted to credit card and car companies, akin to participating in a race burdened with a backpack full of rocks. The middle class ensures that they're never going to be anything but middle class by being in debt to credit card companies and car companies. Each debt-laden rock makes every step more arduous than the last. In fact, the average American carries a staggering $9,460 in debt, a burden resembling more than just a backpack. It's a colossal boulder. Drawing inspiration from Dave Ramsey's playbook, we adopt the debt snowball method to systematically eliminate these rocks. The process is straightforward. List your debts from smallest to largest and prioritize tackling the smallest ones first. Devote as much money as possible to this smallest debt while paying the minimums on the others. Why does this method work? Motivation becomes a potent force. Clearing that initial small debt brings a sense of victory, fueling your determination. You proceed to conquer the second, then the third. Before you realize it, you're not merely running, you're sprinting, shedding weight with each step. Consider a scenario where your smallest debt is a $500 credit card bill. Through scraping and saving, you pay it off, an accomplishment that removes one rock. 
you're not just $500 less in debt, you're gaining momentum. Now, redirect the amount you are paying on that card and add it to the next debt. It's not just subtraction, it's the multiplication of effort, progress, and hope. What about interest? It's the silent adversary compounding against you. By prioritizing the smallest debts, you not only decrease what you owe, but also reduce the accumulating interest, saving you money in the long run. Envision crossing that first line debt-free. How does it feel? Lighter, faster, empowered. This isn't just a dream, it's a destination. And the debt snowball method serves as your roadmap. So let's start lifting those rocks and clearing the path to financial freedom. It's not only about escaping debt. It's about embracing life. It's your rainy day fund for when challenges arrive. Not if. They will. Be prepared for financial freedom awaits. Imagine a serene boat trip disrupted by an unexpected storm. Big waves, strong winds, and water rushing in. In the financial realm, your emergency fund serves as the crucial life jacket, distinguishing between sailing through the storm or being plunged into a sea of debt. Let's confront some stark numbers. A Federal Reserve report revealed that 4 in 10 adults, when faced with an unforeseen $400 expense, would either be unable to cover it or resort to selling possessions or borrowing money. This staggering statistic implies that for many, a single financial wave could overturn their entire boat. Dave Ramsey advocates for preparedness, recommending three to six months of expenses stowed away in a secure, easily accessible account. The range accommodates life's diverse circumstances. If you're a freelancer with unpredictable income, six months is the target. For those with stable jobs, three months might suffice. Consider this. The average monthly expenses for an American household is approximately $5,150, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This means a fully funded emergency fund could range from $15,366. It all begins with a budget, trimming those small luxuries. Did you know the average American eats out four to five times a week, spending about $12.75 each time? That's over $200 a month that could be nurturing your emergency fund. And what about the daily coffee runs or the premium cable package rarely used? It's about choices. Prioritize security over immediate gratification. Even if you're diligently following these steps and still struggle to save, get creative. Consider a side job, a garage sale, or cashing in old bonds from grandma. Every dollar saved is a brick in the fortress shielding you from financial disaster. Here's a what-if scenario. What if, after your hard work, nothing happens? No emergencies, no disasters. That money remains yours, not wasted, but waiting. It earns interest, possesses modest power, and stands ready for when you decide to buy a house, start a business, or embark on that dream vacation. Let's commence the construction of that emergency fund, transforming, if only, into I'm ready for anything. With a robust emergency fund, you're not just weathering the storm, you're dancing in the rain. Investing is akin to planting a garden. Begin with the seeds, the money you've saved, and with care and patience, cultivate a bountiful harvest over time. You don't require a fortune to start. You can plant with the pennies you've pinched and the dollars you've saved up. Consider this. The stock market has averaged a 10% annual return before inflation over the last century. Even a modest investment can burgeon significantly over time, courtesy of the magic of compound interest. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, accumulating mass. However, this snowball comprises your money, and the hill represents the timeline of your investment. When you sit down with someone that actually knows what the flip they're doing, they can help you put the cookies on a shelf where you can reach them. That's called a teacher and you understand about mutual funds and you understand about the track record on a mutual fund and that's how I started investing. Seeking guidance from someone knowledgeable, a teacher, can help you strategically position your cookies on a reachable shelf. If terms like mutual funds and their track records seem perplexing, rest assured you're not alone. That's how many individuals, including myself, started investing. But for the skeptics pondering market crashes, Ramsey's wisdom comes into play. Diversify. Avoid concentrating all your investments in one basket. Spread them across various assets, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and stay on course. 
The market experiences fluctuations, but over time, it tends to trend upward. Remember, investing isn't akin to gambling. It involves calculated risk-taking. It's about doing your homework, comprehending your investments, and establishing realistic expectations. Let's transform those savings into investments and witness our financial garden flourish. With wise investing, even the smallest seed can eventually grow into the mightiest oak in the forest. If you will live like no one else later, you can live and give like no one else. While managing expenses is crucial, the other side of the coin involves increasing your income. It's akin to finding new streams for a river. The more streams feeding into it, the mightier it becomes. In today's gig economy, opportunities abound. Nearly a third of Americans are involved in some form of freelance work, utilizing their skills, hobbies, and passions. Can you write? There's a market for that. Skillful with woodwork? Sell your creations. Coding, tutoring, pet sitting, the possibilities are endless. According to Dave Ramsey, gaining control over your money is essential. Otherwise, the lack of it will perpetually control you. Ramsey emphasizes the dignity of work and the power of earning extra money. It extends beyond just the paycheck. It's about taking control and the self-respect that comes from making it your own way. Now, let's dive into some numbers. If you could earn an extra $100 a week, that amounts to $5,200 a year. This could be allocated to your emergency fund, fuel your debt snowball, or serve as seed money for investments. Concerned about time? I'm already stretched thin, you might say. This is where efficiency steps in. Perhaps it's a side job you can handle from home during your commute or after the kids go to bed. It's about identifying those pockets of opportunity and filling them with purpose and profit. Let's broaden our financial horizons, tapping into our talents to turn them into tangible gains. With a bit of creativity and a lot of hustle, increasing our income is not just a possibility, it's a plan of action. If you live like no one else now, later you can live and give like no one else. Living below your means isn't a form of deprivation. It's a strategy of empowerment, creating a buffer between you and life's uncertainties. Think of it as a financial breathing room. A staggering fact, nearly 70% of Americans have less than $1,000 saved, hardly any breathing room. Living below your means is the remedy, shifting from paycheck to paycheck grind to securing financial freedom. Dave Ramsey says that it's not about the money you make, but the money you keep. Keeping money involves making savvy choices. Do you truly need the latest smartphone upgrade, or could that money contribute to your savings? Is cooking at home more often a viable alternative to dining out? These choices accumulate. It's also about foresight. Planning for the future may necessitate giving up some present comforts, but the reward is financial peace. Let's initiate this change today. Scrutinize your expenses, trim the excess, and prioritize your financial health. By living below your means, you're not merely saving money, you're purchasing freedom. And that's a purchase worth every penny. Embrace these lessons, consistently apply them, and observe your financial life undergo a transformation. Direct your money towards savings, investments, and your future. Thanks for watching this video. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and stay tuned for more content.